Hello, good morning. So, um, it is sunny morning and sadly we're not in church this morning. <gasps> Swift. Mm, they try to get us, they try to get us, but like, with the job, it just sometimes just doesn't work and that's stupid. But anyway, it's what it is for now. Um, we got Psalms 133. Specifically verse 3, but let's just read the whole thing. But first, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you for this video. I pray that it blesses someone and help us to receive it and to just open our hearts to hear more from you, from your living word. In Jesus' name, amen. Behold, this is one Psalm 133, verse 1. Behold how good and how pleasant it is. For brethren to dwell together in unity, it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. I read this, and it's like, okay, the first part, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Okay, that's talking about church, but not just church, but like fully, like, unified church like a church that is come together that is unified one purpose one mind you know one goal one one love all of this just fully unified um and it, then it describes what that is like what the brethren coming together in unity dwelling together in unity is like it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard even aaron's beard and went down to the skirts of his garments the uh, notes in here says that precious oil symbolizes peace health, peace, health and joy and then the anointing all flowing down um, is like from you know from the head the pastor down to the whole congregation and all of the branches because of course we are the body of Christ um, so when we go to church when we come to church in unity with the rest of the body then we will have these bl these blessings these the peace health and joy and and just the anointing you know flowing down and everything um as the dew the verse three as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion for there the Lord commanded the blessing of in life forevermore now the oil no not the oil um the dew of Hermon and the whole range of mountains it says which serves as an abundant water source of water and dew. I'm reading the um, little comments at the bottom. Uh, dew is representative of blessings and the dew is a water source that creates life. So we are going to have blessings if we come to church and not just come, but in unity with the body. Um, with the pastor, all unified together to one goal. Anyway, and we will have blessings. But there's one more point here and it says um and the notes the dew is a water source that creates life and here it says at the end of verse three for there the lord commanded the blessing even life forevermore so going to church and dwelling with the brethren in unity will give you life forevermore will give you heaven will you will to collectively be going to heaven and Therefore, if you're not doing these things, if you're not coming and dwelling together in unity, coming to church and not just sitting there and being half, half part of it or always having conflicts with people too, always having disagreements with people in the body and everything else like that, you can come sometimes, a couple times a year, a couple times a month, one time a month, a couple times a week, one time a week, or every single service and not go to heaven and not have these blessings and not get these things because it is in unity. So coming and dwelling in unity, every time the church is over, everyone coming, everyone having one goal, everyone coming together all the time, um, same track mind, not like I said, not always having disagreements and fights or, or, or whatever with, with people in the body or with the pastor or with whoever it is, but 
in unity, fully in agreement. And if you have anything, you go to them, just like the Bible says, and I'm not going to get into that. But it kind of sounds like church is important to get to heaven. So next time you think about skipping out on church, look up the song Excuses. I think it's by the Kingsmen or something. It's like a quart old quartet song. Yeah. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, God, for speaking to us. I pray that you would help us all to think about this, all to think about the blessings and how much more we should try to not only to get to church every single time the doors are open, but also to be in unity, to, to do all we can to um, dwell in unity with our brothers and sisters, um, whether they are the leaders of the church, the pastor, the pastor's wife, um, any other leaders in the church or anything else, or just the people that, that just come sometimes, or even the people that clean every single person that we are trying to be more in unity with. Um, in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Hope everyone has a great Sunday. Peace and victory.